law or faith. You foolish Galatians, who put a spell on you? Before your very eyes you had a clear description of the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Tell me this one thing. Did you receive God's Spirit by doing what the law requires? Or by hearing the gospel and believing it? How can you be so foolish? You began by God's Spirit. Do you now want to finish it by your own power? Did all of your experience mean nothing at all? Surely it meant something. Does God give you the Spirit and work miracles among you because you do what the law requires? Or because you hear the gospel and believe it? Consider the experience of Abraham. As the scripture says, He believed God and because of his faith God accepted him as righteous. You should realize then that the real descendants of Abraham are the people who have faith. The scripture predicted that God would put the Gentiles right with himself through faith. And so the scripture announced the good news to Abraham. Through you God will bless all people. Abraham believed and was blessed. So all who believe are blessed as he was. Those who depend on obeying the law live under a curse. For the scripture says, Whoever does not always obey everything that is written in the book of the law is under God's curse. Now, it is clear that no one is put right with God by means of the law. Because the scripture says, Only the person who is put right with God through faith shall live. But the law was nothing to do with faith. Instead, as the scripture says, Whoever does everything the law requires will live. But by becoming a curse for us, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law brings. For the scripture says, Anyone who is hanged on a tree is under God's curse. Christ did this in order that the blessing which God promised to Abraham might be given to the Gentiles by means of Christ Jesus, so that through faith we might receive the Spirit promised by God. This is about the the difference about the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the old times, those who obeyed the law, the commandments, the Ten Commandments, that Moses gave to the Israelites will be saved. Those who do that, those who do everything what the law requires will be saved. But in the New Testament, something changed. It's a big change. When Christ Jesus was born and uh, preached to the gospel to others, and when he died for our sins, and rose again after three days, we are saved by believing in Him. So right now, in these days, we, we are not under the law. We are, we are not under God's commandments. Because we cannot follow all of the commandments, right? It's impossible. God knows that only by believing in Him that we can, believing in Christ Jesus, we can be saved. My question is to you is, can you, can you follow the commandments of God by your own power? Of course not. But by believing in Christ Jesus, by, di by dying in Him, and living with Him in Christ, only in God's Spirit we can follow everything. Only by God's Spirit we can follow the commandments of God. Because only God's Spirit have the power to give us the power to, to follow everything. Does this mean that we shouldn't follow the law, the commandments of God? Of course not. We should obey Him. Everything that He commands, we should obey Him. As Jesus said, He didn't come to do away the law, but to fulfill it. Everything. So only in God's Spirit, we can fulfill the law. Because when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord, and we believe in Him, 
Then we have that Spirit, God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit. In His Spirit, we could we can obey the law. And that is clear. So, if we can be put right with God by believing, by having faith in the Lord Jesus, how can we believe if we, we don't know nothing about Jesus Christ? Do, really, do we really know Him? Have you heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, the four gospels? Have you read it? Have you heard it? How can you be how can you put your faith in someone you don't even know? So you have to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ before you can be saved. Yes, you should have this knowledge of Christ. You cannot put your faith on someone you don't even know. So now, the question is, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? He is the Son of God, who became flesh, who became man, who knows no sin, who didn't do any sin at all, and died on the cross, became the Lamb of God, being sacrificed, who died on the cross in order for our sins to be forgiven. And he rose on the third day so that the curse of sin will be lifted and we will be saved because of God's sacrifice. So all those who believe in him, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who will save us of our sins will be saved. If we put our trust in the Lord and we give our 100% faith in Him, we will be put right with God. Our sins will be forgiven and we will experience His salvation when we die and and we will also inherit his promise of life eternal life if you really want to know more about Christ Jesus Christ you should read the bible i mean the personally i prefer the, the gnt the Good News Translation because it's easier to understand or even the contemporary English version and try to read and uh, every day and you will know about, know about our Lord Jesus Christ because <clears throat> as I've said how can you put your faith in someone you don't even know so you must learn who Jesus Christ is, what he did, what he preached, so that we may follow him and obey him, receive him as his Lord and Savior, and preach also that gospel to others.